Okay guys, just want to make a real quick video. Had a, a couple of questions from some guys about how I tie in my short bridge um, for climbing DRT. Um, I'm hunting with a Mantis saddle. Mantis saddle comes with an Amsteel bridge and it's a little bit long to use when you're climbing DRT. So um, what I did was I tied in a short bridge um, and what I used to do that is a 10 millimeter beeline uh, 10 millimeter beeline comes with a factory eye on one side, so I loop my my beeline around the D loop on the Mantis saddle, and then come through my eye. I come across uh, into my other D loop, and the length of your your short bridge depends on the person. Um, for me, I need it to be about 14 inches long or so. Um, so what I do is I come through. And the knot I'm using on here is a, a bowling knot. Uh, to tie a bowling knot, what you're going to do is you're going to you're gonna take a, make a loop in this line here, like so. And then you're going to come through the loop. Come through the loop, around the back of the main line, and then back down into the same loop all right so and you depending on how exactly you want your your bowling to sit i like to have mine sit kind of tight down here so i'm going to cinch it up a little bit kind of make it a little bit shorter and once you get it cinched up pull it tight And that is a bowling knot, a short bridge. It's roughly probably about 14 or 14, maybe 15 inches long. And then, like we said in our other video, always back up a knot. So I'm just gonna take the the tag end here, and I'm just gonna throw another half in here. So that's it. That's your that's my short bridge bowling knot tied onto the D loop, backed up with a with a nice tight half hitch. And always check your knots before you go and climb. This is the cheap way to do it. Uh, I highly recommend you uh, if you're going to add a bridge to your saddle, Arrow Hunter uh, makes a really nice adjustable bridge. Um, it's kind of in the same principle um, they use basically it looks like a like a beeline um, through the factory eye of the beeline it ties into the one side but then on the other side they have a, a prusik that goes through it with a tender and it's adjustable so it works out really nice because you can you can actually adjust your bridge it's better than this because you know if I have to tweak this then I got to undo my knot and just keep playing with it until I get it right um, but if it's adjustable you know that's you know for comfort or whatever you know you can uh, you can go that route and I, that's what I highly recommend but this is just a, a cheap down and dirty way of doing it um, so uh, you, if you're gonna climb DRT you're definitely gonna want to use a short bridge instead of a long because um, you want to keep your Blake's hitch and everything closer to you otherwise you're gonna be reaching and it's not gonna work too well so uh, uh, you know, hopefully that answers some questions. I know uh, in the last video with the knot safety, um, I kind of misspoke because I, ha I I said that the knot that I have on this side is a bowling is a, um, a two half hitches. But what I was talking about was two half hitches backing up my bowling knot. So um, you know, didn't mean to uh, confuse anybody with that. But uh, the, the the half hitches aren't the safest way to go. This is uh, this is the way to go. One, one of the guys, you know, kind of caught that, and um, I'm glad he, uh, he he pointed that out. So, um, but that's it. So there's other knots that you can use here. Um, I'm not I'm not the knot expert, really. Scott is a lot better at it than I am. Um, I talked to Scott about you know which knots we should be using. Uh, a bowling works good. Um, you could also use a figure eight knot. Um, there's a couple of other um, really good knots. You guys could research that. Um, Scott is Scott and I are gonna try to this weekend 
make up a video that's got a couple of really good knots that are important to know and um, it'll be a good learning experience for me as well um, but we'll, we'll try and put it out in this way you guys will have a little bit more information and uh, hopefully it'll be helpful to you all right so uh, uh, climb safe and uh, look out for the next video